there is a heterogeneous uh, intensity lesion noted at the sept of uh, pellucidum and uh, you see it's around the foramen of monro that's why bilateral lateral ventricles are dilated and at the same time the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle it's not that dilated so yeah it's likely causing compression of the uh, foramen of monro so causing obstruction of the csf outflow the signal here is uh, heterogeneous uh, some few uh, T2 hypointense spots are seen within and uh, if I just uh, scroll it to make it uh, to see whether there is uh, any uh, let me just check uh, whether there is any diffusion restriction uh, there is no diffusion restriction per se within it uh, so what do we have here is uh, basically uh, and there is an enhancement peripheral enhancement going on uh, if you compare this uh, with the pre-contrast even do we have post contrast I guess we do all right so this is a post contrast you can see there is an enhancement which is predominantly peripheral there uh, and the look of this lesion is more like a, a frigulated or a cauliflower like it, it's not really all oval uh, so the differential uh, for for these lesions uh, at the sep septum pellucidum would be central uh, neurocytoma a other differential would be subependymoma but subependymoma sub are rare in the septum pellucidum uh, now i came across this beautiful paper written in 1948 uh, written by French and Busey. So they have done this uh, ventriculography where the air is supposed to get injected in the ventricles. And look at that, how close these two images are. Now almost uh, 70, rather more than 70 years apart. Uh, you can see there is a lesion uh, which is in the septum pellucidum, involving septum pellucidum, and there are these uh, lateral ventricles which are there. And uh, look at that, this image and uh, this image, which is uh, very, very um, like a yeah, like a clone. You see, cool. So now uh, I'm just uh, going to put on uh, the differentials. Uh, central neurocytoma is the one, subependymoma is another one. Then other neoplasm would be like lymphoma, GPM, intracranial schwannomas. Uh, where they are like extremely rare but have been reported. So and astrocytomas and oligodendroglioma and oligoastrocytomas etc etc so this is another paper which you could uh, have a look at uh, the set septum pellucidum lesions congenital and acquired by scoffing and curin and uh, this is an important table here where uh, they uh, say that the condition associated with the absence of septum pellucidum either congenital and acquired in congenital you have a genesis and dysgenesis of corpus callosum and in cephaly uh, chiari two malformation holoprosencephaly rhombencephalo synapsis synapsis uh, that's a quite a tongue twister there and then she's in cephaly septo optic dysplasia and in acquired you have chronic severe hydrocephalus which is like um, i did not know that before this and then trauma uh, now we have seen uh, one case uh, over in um, in the congenital hydrocephalus syndrome uh, where there was a septum pellucidum absent which is uh, uh, which is not included here uh, so that also you should keep in mind uh, when you are dealing with it uh, so in a no way this is like a complete list but uh, this is like a most common list thing all right so thank you very much bye, -bye.